pretty neat. Have you been told that you're hitting leadoff? Nope. Have you been told that I'm hitting leadoff? What about you? Did you enjoy this spring? I did. It was uh, something that obviously is a little different for me, but um, I think Buck kind of hit the nail on the head when he said there's not really your prototypical leadoff hitter in the game anymore. You don't have a lot of guys like uh, Brian Roberts. Um, I'm trying to think of the last true leadoff hitter, maybe like a Juan Pierre. Um, you don't really have those guys anymore. I guess maybe Billy Hamilton would be kind of that guy, but in the American League, I feel like it's kind of a lost, um, a lost role. So, yeah, I'm I'm up for it. Give me as many at bats as I can get. Did you do anything different in the uh, in the uh, <laughs> off uh, position when uh, you had those games there? You approached a little differently. I don't know. You were there, did I? Yeah. I did. What did you think I did differently? You it. Hey, I did, didn't I? More than once. Um, yeah. I mean, I think even if I hadn't been put in the leadoff spot, that was something that I worked a lot on this offseason. Um, you know, I talked to you guys last year at the end of the season about making some adjustments mechanically and um, making some adjustments mentally, and I think that, that goes into it. Um, get tired of hitting 200, you're going to find a way to combat that and that's part of the game. If they're going to give me the entire you know, left side of the infield, then I'm going to make them pay for it. So, and I mean, we have enough guys in our lineup that can do damage behind me that the more guys we can get on, the better off we're going to be as a team. If, if you do bat leadoff, you know, you, you're right about the, the not prototypical. I mean, you can go back to Mickey Rivers and guys like that. But in the 70s, Bobby Bonds batted leadoff, and, and he was known more for his power. So the, maybe you know you could blaze the trail for the, the next generation of power hitters who lead off. Maybe. I mean, I, f I feel like there was a, a leadoff hitter here who hit 50 home runs one year. Yeah, I remember that guy. Faintly. I think he wore number nine. Yeah. Um, like I said, I don't think it's, it really has anything to do with uh, being a power guy or being a contact guy. I think just for the sake of the game and what's best for the team, you're going to put somebody in that role that you think can get on base. And uh, even though strikeouts have been an issue throughout the course of my career, I've, I think I've been at the top or, or led the team in walks almost every year um, in the past few years. So um, I don't know, it's going to be interesting. But it's something that I've definitely, um, definitely embraced in spring training. And, and look, I mean, I, I understand what's at stake here. I understand um, the the window is closing. I hate saying that, but it's true. I mean, there's there's a sense of urgency here. So I mean, whatever I can do to help the team be successful, whether that's batting leadoff, um, batting in the middle of the lineup, or batting at the bottom of the order, uh, you know, I'm open to anything. What was it like for you guys to arrive here on Tuesday night or whenever you guys got Monday night and got here knowing that, like you said, this, this season is here and all the things that go into it are here with it? I don't think it's really set in yet. Um, I think tomorrow it'll be a little more realistic. I think it'll feel a little bit more um, real tomorrow. Uh, it's it's kind of hard when you're flying you start in Florida go to Virginia then you play a game and then you I mean when, by the time you get here you're you're pretty beat so I think it for me especially it takes um, it takes the day of opening day to kind of get everything flowing and, and to really have the emotion set in because you if you're going to be a lead off are you going to are you going to think well I have to be more aggressive I have to be more aggressive um I think that was going to be the case no matter where I was batting you know, I mean, that was something that I wanted to um, to kind of change going into the season, no matter where I was sitting in the order. I think that uh, being in the leadoff spot, it makes it a little more intriguing. But um, I think the reason that I was put in the leadoff spot was my ability to um, see some pitches, my ability to get on base. And and like I said, it's it's kind of a a lost start, you know. I'm, I've I've never let off in my life, um, other than the, the spring training games. And to be honest with you, the first time he did it, I thought he was just messing with me because I've been trying to get him to put me there for seven years, and I was like, well, now he's just now he's just giving me a hard time. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited about it.
team? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think, um, you know, for me personally, when I got home last off season and really sat down and kind of looked back um, at what took place last year, looked how we finished and, and looked at um, my failures and deficiencies personally, I think it was hard to, um, hard to swallow and there was definitely a lot of um, a lot of frustration a lot of embarrassment and um, I reminded myself of that daily through going throughout the offseason you know I mean this is this is not a last place team this is a group of guys that have, have been together for a number of years we've won together um, and I don't think last year was uh, a clear depiction of what we really have going on in here so I mean for me, I, I feel like I've, I've come into this season with a chip on my shoulder, and I'm pretty sure that's the case for most of the guys in here. Yeah, that, that chip, you guys, ever since you've been here, you guys have been picked to finish last or have a losing record. Is it almost okay now because it seems to work for you guys when you're doubted? I think it's, um, I would never say it's okay. You know, you don't ever want to be um, picked last, but I think in the past it's been more of a, uh, a motivational thing. I mean, we never thought that we were a last place team. I think that was some of the embarrassment last year was realizing that while we've we've really fallen to where they think that we're going to be, and we've really put a lot of truth to, to their predictions. And I think in the past it's been more of a "we'll show you" attitude. We're not a last place team. We're not a bunch of losers. But um, I don't know. I, I really try not to focus on outside expectations. I feel like our team um, has way higher expectations for ourselves than anybody else. So, um, you know, I hope the chip on the shoulder is really more of a frustration, more of a wanting to prove something from last year than it is where we're getting picked to finish this year.